Hello YouTube. So, now that we've got the intro out of the way, I'm gonna try and finish this in 17 minutes. Let's go. Okay, first off we have Yuri on Ice. Yuri on Ice is a sports anime. It has the gay, it is amazing. It's a shonen-a and I love it. If you're not really into the boys love kind of thing, that is fine because it's really, really dull and doesn't even show. And like they even censored it in Japan that the kiss wasn't even there, but the fandom found the actual clip. Thank you. So, but when you usually watch it online, you probably can't even see it. So it's kind of sad, but that's okay because Yuri and Victor will always be my dads and I will always ship them because they're my OTP in my heart forever. Anyway, Yuri and Ice has one season. Season one has 12 episodes. But also tied for first, we got Banana Fish. I love this anime. It makes me cry every time I look at the poster or even read it online. Actually, I never read it online because I was gonna cry again. So we didn't try that. Banana Fish only has one season and one season, that one season has 24 episodes. So, uh, I think I showed you that already. Okay, so Banana Fish. If you love blood, gore, and swearing, this is for you. It's really, really good. There's some sexual content in it, but it's not even like sh sexual content. It's just like told. Like it's like, yes, he was a male prostitute. So what? Whatever. <laughs> like I love Ash. Okay, I'll defend him through anything. And I'm just gonna play. Like I'm not even gonna show you guys the. Like I'm not even gonna show you the openings. I'm just gonna let you listen to. And if you want to watch the openings, then you can like search them up for yourself because I'm not about to get copy straight, like copyright strict, strict, stricken. Now for number two, we have Tokyo Ghoul. Tokyo Ghoul is pretty long. I almost finished it. I have four episodes left. So close, so close. Tokyo Ghoul has four seasons and two OVAs. I'm going to read them in order for you to know how to watch them because it took me forever to find out how, what order to watch them in. But luckily I found it. So let me give it to you. Season 1, Tokyo Ghoul, 12 episodes. OVA, Tokyo Ghoul Jack. Season 2, Tokyo Ghoul A. Or like, it's like that sh that thing in math. I forget what it is. I'm so sorry. My mind's going blank. Uh, and that has 12 episodes. Uh, OVA, 2. Uh, Tokyo Ghoul Pinto, season 3. Tokyo Ghoul Re, 12 episodes. Season 4, Tokyo Ghoul Re, season 2. 12 episodes. So all the seasons have 12 episodes and then there's two movies that are like 24 minutes, 25 minutes. And then I think, oh yeah, Tokyo Ghoul Jack has two episodes in it. So it's like 25, 20, 25 minutes times two. Uh, I really, really like it. It's like really good. I love it. The openings are bomb, okay? The openings are like, I swear. I'm gonna play you opening one. I already like, I already like memorized all the words to this. Even if it's in Japanese, I have memorized all the words, but you're not here gonna hear me sing cause like I'm trash. Anyway. Okay, most of them are by TK. I think all of them are by TK, so um when you if you want to see any of these openings just search up the anime and then opening one because i used only the opening one for all of them so it's just easier for you to find except for the one for banana fish i accidentally pressed opening two so but you can just find opening one because it's like really like the same um number three number two Number three, <laughs> Boku no Hero Academia, or My Hero Academia. There's three seasons, two OVAs, and one movie. Uh, season one has 13 episodes. Season two has 25 episodes. Season three has 25 episodes. And then there's an OVA, Training Camp of the Dead. And then OVA two, Save, Rescue Training. And then My Hero Academia, Two Heroes, is the movie. I didn't watch it yet because it hasn't come online yet. And when it was in theaters, I missed it because I didn't know it was here. And it sucked. But I have my posters, I have my manga, so I'm pretty happy. This is a poster. I'm gonna show you here because it's too much work to show you around my room. <laughs> so there's my husband, I mean, person. Uh, and then there's Izuku, and then there's Katsuki, or Bakugo. I like calling him Katsuki, even though he probably would slap me for it. 
while he goes up be ah mean he's a guy that's mean to everybody <laughs> um my favorite opening is probably season three but i'm gonna play season one anyway Like, season one is so cool, like, the opening, because it shows, like, all the characters and their names beside it. It's just the cutest thing. Okay, number five is Haikyuu. If you love volleyball, this is for you, okay? If you love volleyball, this is for you. Like, I love volleyball so much. I think it's because of this anime. Like, I liked it before, but then after I watched this anime, I just fell in love with volleyball all over again. Like, I swear, it's amazing. It's just a volleyball anime. That's really... Oh, I ship too many people that I need to like calm myself, but like I don't even care. Like I have like 25 ships in this thing. No, that's a lie. Probably only 10. But then there's Hinata and Kageyama. They're my small beans. They're my boys. Right now I'm wearing my Star Wars shirt. I was wearing my Haikyuu shirt in the other recording of this video, but then I got too lazy to change out of it and put um, the Haikyuu shirt back on. But it's basically just super cute. Uh, number four. Five, number nope we're still on number four because i have to show you the opening so let's just go back two seconds okay just watch me here oh yeah it has my anime dads in it too so like daishi and shogawa rasa they are my OTP in that one for sure because they are my dads. Uh, and now on to the main boys love. The ones that are known for being boys love. If you don't like it, that's okay. I love it. I especially love Yaoi, which is hardcore boys love. But like, we still like this cute one because it's cute. Okay, Jujo Romantica. Pure romance. Season 1, 12 episodes. Season 2, 12 episodes. Season 3, 12 episodes. So, it's not that long. You guys can it's really fast. Jujo Romantica is like adorable. I, like, I love them. They even won like best couple. I They actually did, I think. Or was it a best boys love couple? Either way, they still won best couple because they are the best couple. This opening is like so loud. So I'm going to turn it down a bit. Just a little bit. Okay. So <laughs> I used to sing this so loud. They are cute, it's adorable, and I love them. I haven't seen this anime in so long. Like, I don't remember when it came out, but when I first watched it, this opened a whole new door for me. Like, that's when I loved Boys Love. Like, this is that was what made me love it so much. And then as I got, like, older, not even that much older, like, two years older, I started getting into Yaoi, and Yaoi is just the hardcore hitting, not for children kind of stuff, which is amazing. And then, the, I think this is our final boys love. Sakaichi Hatsukoi. Onadera Ritsu no Bai. So, world's greatest first love. The case of Onadera Ritsu. Uh, season, there's three seasons. No, two seasons and two OVAs. So, season one has 12 episodes. Season two has 12 episodes. And it also has two OVAs. So, they're also really cute. They look very similar. Because it's by the same author. The only thing I don't like about the animation is that their blips are blocky, so when they kiss it looks kind of weird, but it's still like super cute. I love the ending of the opening, it's just so cute. Like it's just so cute. If You probably couldn't see because it was too light, but... He was blushing and it's the cutest thing because when he blushes, it's just like adorable. Like Onodera is like, he also won cutest brown haired boy. It was the cutest thing ever when I saw the poll. Okay, now we're going on to the dark stuff. The stuff with a lot of blood and stuff. Yeah, it's really good. Just like Banana Fish in Tokyo Ghoul has a lot of blood and stuff. And then everyone in this show is psychopath. So it's great. It's amazing. <laughs> like, 
it was really good like the ending really got me it was hilarious because i didn't know the ending came out because I, I was pretty mad about the ending because it was only like 11 episodes and i wasn't kind of that surprised because some animes come out with 11 episodes instead of 12 or 25 so i thought oh is that the ending well that's dumb and then like a month later i find out that there was the ending and i'm like Whoa. so then i watched it like a morning before school and i was just like in tears not tears i don't think i cried i think i was just like distraught and like kind of disturbed <laughs> but yeah they're all psychopaths and it's hilarious how like much i like them all <laughs> so we got oh wait i forgot to make my joke okay so we got our jehovah witness we got our jehovah's witness guy right here you literally like praise jesus and you have committed sin so i must kill you kind of thing like that so we got him then we got a small bean that guy right there, the one with the mask right there, yeah. He's a small bean that wanted to kill Ray and make her beautiful. And I'm like, that is so sweet. I'd let him kill me any day. Like, that's so sweet. Ray is the girl, and then Zach. His name is actually Isaac Foster, but like I like to call him Zach because he likes to be called Zach. So we respect his wishes or else he'll kill you. So it's kind of that kind of thing. And then I'm gonna show you the opening because well, I don't really know. Like I said, I wasn't going to show you the opening, but I ended up doing that. So, uh... So, it's really bloody and gory, and it's great. Oh, yeah, there's also a guy that wants to take your eyeballs. So, like, watch out for that. But Zach loves his knife, but he uses a scythe because that's also a really big knife sword thing. And I like it because he's an angel of death. Do you get it? Like, I don't really think he's an angel of death. But, like, you know how angels of death use scythes. It's like, it gets you, you know, <laughs> gets you thinking there. But I really liked it. It was, like, a good ending. Uh, There's Black Butler. Black Butler was, it was good. It was, it was good. That's why it's, like, on the lower bit of my list. It's, like, good. But it's not, like, ah! kind of amazing like Yuri on Ice and Black I mean and Banana Fish like Black Butler was good I love Shiel Shiel is like awesome and then Sebastian is like amazing um but there's just a lot of content that I haven't even gotten through like I only got through the first season and that was it I was I have it on my phone saved ready for me to watch but like I haven't watched it yet so I'm gonna show you the opening because I like the opening it's catchy sorry I, the opening's just really catchy and like since it's still fresh in my mind like it's still like it gets me okay so erased is like a time travel kind of show so this guy has like this thing called revival and he can go back in time and try and like change the past um but then like usually he goes back like one to two minutes but this time he goes back like years because like he's 21 in the beginning of the story I think and then he goes back to when he was like in elementary school grade five I think and it's like it was really good like it was so good like I can't believe I put it like lower on my list I think it should be like up higher but I forget what number we're on anyway so mm, I'll show you I'll just show you the Actually, I won't because in my last recording, I used the wrong one and I was too lazy to try and find the other one. So I'm just going to have to listen to it because the listening is the same thing. But looking at it might get you. Ah, man, just looking at it makes me kind of want to cry because it's still kind of fresh in my mind. It kind of gets me. Because the ending was like, the ending was great. It's just like what happened before the ending. Oh, that's just getting me. And then we have number six as number 10. Amazing. It was, it was, it was good. It's a shonene, which means it's like a light, light, very, very, very light boys love. Like, it's not even, so it can't even be called. There's like one kiss or no, there's two kisses and it doesn't even count, bro. Like, I don't know. One was a goodbye kiss and one was just like a, 
see you again kiss like it was just not even like a good one <laughs> but i'm not gonna show you the in the out the intro because it wasn't that amazing uh then we have surane which is a sports anime it's about kudo and uh arrow well, kudo is like the japanese version of bow and arrow so when you see like those um shooting sh like things yeah <laughs> that's just what it is and then there's kakegurui it's on netflix it's, 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 it's something, all right? Like, I'm watching them currently in Sudane. I just finished the other day because the last episode came out the other day. But I, Kakuri is good so far. It's about gambling and it's, like, pretty good. It's pretty, like, Kakuri literally translates to gambling. It's, like, really, really good. But the only thing is, like, it's like a Yuri. <laughs> and if you guys don't know what a Yuri is, because I don't expect you to, it means girls love. And it's like hardcore it's not only hardcore it's like touched upon and like it's weird and it's just weird <laughs> but that concludes today's video because i have to go finish tokyo Ghoul, so i'm gonna like break down not knowing what's going on <laughs> and then i'm gonna eat my pizza and all that but i'll see you guys in the next video okay bye or shenna which means see you later <laughs> okay bye